Nothing can hold me down. Nothing can make me frown. Flying like an eagle. That's why I'm so in a shine. I shine. You're the star. That's just who you are. Shine bright like a diamond. I'm living up in the sky. I've got all it takes. I'm not giving up. I'm going straight to the top. And I'm never ever gonna lose my strength. I was gonna gonna make me frown. Flying like Nico. That's why I'm so in a shine. I shine I can be who I wanna be I can be just who I am Not giving up so soon Not going down so grown I shine Oh I shine Like I said before, a team is what you need at this point. If you keep blaming yourself, you won't be able to manage the condition as you ought to. When you talk about managing a sickle cell child, you talk about it as if it's an easy task. It's like investing in a drunken train wreck waiting to happen. In the end, it collapses. And when you say a team, it is all your fault that we're in this mess today. Would you just allow the doctor to complete, please? That is what you keep doing. You lied about your results. That is why we are here. And our daughter will have to live on drugs throughout her lifetime. And all you care about is the conclusion. I actually mean conclusion on what next to do. Oh, what to do next? Sell off the car. Call up your friends to buy out your wardrobe. And get... A better paying job because almost all our savings will be going in to buy drugs for our daughter. But it's not my fault that I am a it. No. It's your fault you lied. That's what the doctor told me. It's like HIV. You go for the test and you're told you're positive. You keep trying and trying and running other tests to confirm that you are either positive or negative. Was that what you did? No. Why? Because my doctor is not a liar. Young ladies, I think this conversation is over. This session was unproductive. How many of you were able to do the assignment? So you mean the one we had to do covers of our film songs? Yes. We've gone past that. Just few students like Felix and the rest did not sing last week. Okay, that's true. And I think I'm with a list of those that didn't play from last week. So if you hear your name, you identify yourself. Okay? All right. Naomi? Sure. Philip? Sure. Blessing? Sure. Deborah? Sure. 
All right. I think it's the four of you that didn't see last week. So we start with Nomi. Sit down. Nomi, please come up with the song. Can I have your song book? No. No, come back here. Nomi? Yes, sir. What's the title of the song? Stand by me by Ben E. King. Stand by me? Yes, sir. Okay, let's hear it. When the night is calm and the moon is light, I won't be afraid. I won't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, tell me, if it was how Ben E. King sang his song, would you have done a cover for it? No, sir. So, all you need to do now is to go back home and rehearse and practice the song properly. Okay, sir. Have you said? Okay, the next person, Felix. Sir, come on. Ben, yeah. have you talked to the girl you wanted to talk to? Not yet, bro. Not yet. Damn, that girl is pretty fellish. I don't know what they are doing. Man, man, you need to step up. Let she come, sir. Let's see. I did so well. Give your attention now. Go and read your book. <laughs> <laughs> I told you this girl will not accept. Queen B! <laughs> Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Guy, don't worry. Ah, look at you. 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 Look <laughs> what was that about? Nothing. I only did what you have done normally. I thought her voice was horrible. Then why did she smile? <sighs> <clears throat> Because she's not as serious as you are. You're always looking serious. Try and feel your face sometimes. Be <laughs> <laughs> really. eh? Don't take life too seriously so that you get out of it alive. Huh? Guys, let's see. <laughs> 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 What was he saying? I hate that girl now, me. Anna, it's too early to start discussing irrelevant things. Not only is she proving smart, but she's making me know she's the dumbest person ever. Okay, so what would you do? If you had an opportunity to hurt her. <laughs> I'll make her look like a fool in front of Felix. And represent her as nothing in front of the school. I think that's okay. See, Anna. You better start working on getting the opportunity to do so. Very fast. Before it's too late. Yeah. You need to start doing that. Let's just go back inside the class.
mom. What is my box doing here? You're leaving for boarding house. Why? Because your dad and I has finally agreed on it. Mom, you never wanted me in the boarding house in the first place. Why now? Baby, just go into the house, confirm that everything is in here, and meet me up. Regardless the setbacks, he pardoned my boat through the storm and the rain. On the troubled sea, I wouldn't accept the feet. It was my pride, my talent, a shoulder to lean on. Everything you're worth. So, is she going to be okay? Yes, she will. What she means with her friend, she'll be okay. She'll be smiling again. Come on, Naomi, what's wrong with you? By the time you meet with your friend, you're going to be happy. Yeah, come on. Okay, can I have a word with her, please? Okay, ma, no problem. Baby. Thank you so much. All right, I appreciate it. Okay. Baby, I know you think I'm being hard on you, but this is the best decision ever. I still remember 20 years ago when I left my family to marry your daddy. We never really knew how to live as a couple and that was the hardest decision I ever made. You made the decision. I didn't make it. Baby, I just want you to study hard. How come you're just realizing it now? I'm not just realizing this. I have always known this. But I've never really decided on it. But now it's important because I want you to make good grades in your forthcoming exams. Please. I'll come visiting at every opportunity, every PTA, Every visiting day, I'll be here for you. I promise. Please.
I get it, you're gonna feel uncomfortable getting naked because it's your first week. But let's say after a month or so, you get used to the way things are done here. Yeah, that's true. Take it too serious. Yeah, I get it. You're gonna miss your mom, your dad, and your brother. But if you actually take everyone here as your family, then believe me, you'd enjoy your stay here. It's gonna be fun. Sure. You love it here. Could you please stop talking? Uh, sorry. Thanks. Mom. Any idea where Naomi could have come? She's nowhere around this house. I dropped her off in school a few hours ago. She's boarding now. Why? Because she she has to concentrate on her studies and so should you. And not even a goodbye hug before leaving. In two weeks time we go to visit her and you can give her all the hug you need to. Why do I get the feeling you don't want us around? If I did not want you around, I would have gotten rid of you a long time ago. Well, maybe you are still figuring that out. Yeah, maybe. No, me. No, we guess what? I told Felix you and her in the boarding house and it was so exciting. Are you going to see him? Oh, I guess you won't. Because that Anna of the kids always sticking around him like fly. You, Anna and Felix should leave me alone. And if Felix acts out, so what? Just get out and stop talking nonsense. Shine. Oh, I shine. 